at IDEF with Ali Jan from Nero Industries. He's going to help us understand a little bit about the company's Aris fire control system and its Umai laser warning system and smoke grenades. Ali Jan, thank Hello. you for your time. Thank you. Can you explain a little bit about what happens to a vehicle when it is engaged with an RPG type projectile and how the Nero Industries RE uh, fire suppression system can help keep the crew and the inhabitants alive? Uh, we uh, have developed a system that uh, is called RS Fire Suppression System and this system is a real-time online system and it is uh, seeking for any kind of infrared and uh, energy distribution, energy increasement in the vehicle and when the RPG penetrates the armor and gets inside the vehicle uh, the system automatically engages and activates the cylinders to suppress the uh, explosion inside the vehicle. And the system is able to detect the fires or explosions in 3 milliseconds. And it can suppress the fires under 250 milliseconds. You never know when the RPG will hit your vehicle. And you never know when there is going to be an explosion inside the vehicle. So it's a good idea to have a kind of automatic explosion suppression system inside of your vehicle to protect the vehicle and the crew and also besides the crew fire suppression system we have the engine fire suppression and also we have body extinguisher system and the tire extinguisher system that is called 360 degrees of protection all for the all fire scenarios I, I imagine that the effects of a fire suppression system have to be quite dramatic to limit the damage caused by an explosion inside the hull. Does that have any impact on the crew or the inhabitants at all? Are they still able to function afterwards? So we are using the latest technology here. We are using the gas uh, fire suppression system. Gas is uh, totally uh, safe for the crew. And after we extinguish the fire, in 10 seconds, we all take all the gas out of the vehicle. So the crew is no more uh, inside the uh, vehicle with the gas. And after uh, the suppression, uh, this, the system can be enabled uh, for the second uh, explosion. Okay. So we are using like double shot system in the main battle tanks. And uh, we are, our system is, what is unique about our system is, uh, we can detect the slow fires and we can de detect the explosions. Okay. So when you buy, when you uh, integrate our system inside your vehicle, you will have uh, two systems in one system and your vehicle will be always protected from the fires, whatever the fire will be. And then the Umai laser warning system that's been developed uh, specifically by Nero Industries. And I understand that uh, uh, some systems are going to be delivered to Ukraine, the government of Ukraine, to help protect their vehicles. What prompted the development of the system? Uh, the fire suppression system is protecting inside the vehicle and uh, we thought about if we can make an early warning system to the vehicle uh, to avoid the penetration and the hit of the RPG system or uh, ATGM system. Uh, we developed our Umai uh, laser warning system with our smoke grenade launcher system. So when the Umai detects the uh, laser designator and laser uh, system coming to the vehicle, uh, it activates the smoke grenades and it creates a curtain, a uh, smoke curtain that is uh, uh, hiding the vehicle so that the vehicle has a chance to leave that area or uh, can uh, make uh, uh, countermeasures according to that. So UMA is a second uh, level of protection uh, system that the tactical vehicles can be adapted uh, with it. It's a low cost uh, item and it can be integrated in all the vehicles. So Ukraine, our Ukrainian uh, government accepted our system for integration and we are very thankful with them. So we are pleased to uh, supply these solutions uh, to Ukraine. Okay, perfect. And, and was the development of UMAI based on any operational experience from uh, Turkish armed forces or from Ukrainian armed forces at all? Uh, this is going to be the first uh, 
exporting first exported uh, customer with us, but we had made uh, in the last three years many system tests in the uh, eastern part of Turkey and the southern part of the Turkey, and the system is has been on the field for the last three years. So we have a great uh, achievement with this system, but it is going to be first deployed in Ukraine to the uh, real uh, military and real final users. So it is proven in battle with Turkey. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time, Alijan. That's brilliant. Um, and have a good show.